Uh, can I have everybody shift over like two steps? All right. Um, all right. Sounds good. Right. And then, uh, Somebody else coming in? Okay. Okay. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, we're thrilled to welcome and officially open. Well, they've been open for a little over a month now. Uh, Blend and Brew in downtown Albany. We are thrilled to have Samer and all of the items that he's offering here to our office tenants and our residents and visitors here at 54 State Street. It has been a really nice addition to downtown. I don't know if you could tell when you first walk in, the first impression I get is the freshness, the smell of fresh fruit, and it's not frozen. You can see as he's making um, the different smoothies and um, juices that he's pulling directly from this plethora of fresh fruit he has here. And so we're really excited about that as a healthy, fresh offering for all of the folks who are here in downtown. We've had 93% of our uh, employees actually return to downtown from the pandemic. They are here three and a half, averaging three and a half days a week. And then we also have our thousand residential units. So there really is a need for this type of service. And so we're really excited that you're here, Samer. Thank you so much. Um, someone who really understands uh, how hard it is to run a small business and uh, the support that is needed to run a small business, whether it is through assistance going through uh, planning and building and codes or small grants that uh, the mayor offered through the ARPA money. Um, mayor Sheen has really come alongside us here in downtown Albany to help support the existing businesses, help them grow and bring in new entrepreneurs like Sanders. So we're really excited for your support and uh, thank you so much, Mayor. Well, thank you. And it's great to have a partner like the downtown bid to ensure that we are creating the opportunities and meeting the needs of our small businesses and it changes over time and so when we are talking to the bid we know that because of their direct contact that they have with our businesses they're closest to what the opportunities are and what the challenges are so that we can ensure that we're advocating to bring along the different tools that are needed for businesses to succeed and as we continue to grow and build out our downtown we're so excited about bringing more residential more opportunities for conversions and ensuring that we're getting people out of those offices and down into the businesses that are here it has been challenging coming out of the pandemic and i know we've been talking about the pandemic recovery for years but it does take time because as people come downtown when we didn't have that foot traffic it resulted in a cycle of businesses not being able to stay open not being able to find staffing and it became a chicken in an egg the businesses would say we'll be open longer hours once we have more people people would come down and say there's no place to go for lunch i want to work from home so we're figuring that out and we're starting to see an easing of some of those challenges and because of the product that you have and your commitment to being an entrepreneur and being successful here, I'm really optimistic and I want to congratulate you and wish you great success here. Thank you, Mary. Uh, so the two people to my right are with Omni Development and they uh, own not only this build building here, but several large office buildings in downtown. Um, early on, uh, David Swayway believed in downtown, he invested in downtown, he continues to attract people here into his office, as well as offer opportunities for entrepreneurs to be in spaces like this by lowering the barrier to entry and uh, really also knowing and hearing, probably from Lisa, what the tenants want and what they want to see in the various retail spaces. And so uh, we are very appreciative of how you care for your office buildings how you care for the space, how you support our small business owners, and you support the business. So thank you, David, so much. I really appreciate all that you've done in downtown over several years. Um, Lisa, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Lisa Reddy Merrill is one of our board members at the bid, and uh, Lisa, too, has that spirit for um, wanting to see downtown thrive and wanting to make sure she and Omni Development are a part of that story, that revitalization um, that we're talking about. And so I'd like to invite Lisa to say a few words. Thanks, Georgia. 
Omni is absolutely thrilled to have the singer here for one of the best tenants. He is so fabulous. All of our tenants are thrilled. The downtown community that's coming in is thrilled to have this quality of product here. I feel like we have a little bit of New York City here in Albany. It's just, I used to say, because I used to vacation in New York, that if I could go out and get a piece of fresh fruit on the corner, that was a real city. Now we can. So I'm absolutely thrilled to have them. It's just such a wonderful asset for all of our tenants, for the community, and please try something. You won't be disappointed. So thank you. Thank you, Lisa. So, I, yes? I'm sorry, I should get the credit because I brought them here from New York City. Thank you. I brought them to New York City. So I think I already talked a little bit about the yes. freshness Lisa uh, talked about as well. But the other thing that uh, Samer offers yes. is that customer service, that hospitality. When you walk in, the smile on his face and how excited he is to greet you and he remembers you from when he was here a week ago. And uh, it's that family feeling, it's that high quality customer service that Samer brings and uh, will continue to uh, make him successful uh, week after week, year after year. And, um, so I don't know if you're going to share some of your if I do. So during COVID, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, um, Samer had op operated um, uh, smoothie and juice places in New York City for quite some time. It was a family business that he had been in for multiple years, and uh, during COVID, decided that he wanted uh, a little more room, a little more space for his family, and moved up here to Albany. And um, in thinking about what would that mean for him? What would that career path be when he moved to a new city? Um, he was able to, his uncle provided him uh, many of his equipment here. You can see the uh, sign from his uncle's store in New York City. And so um, we are thrilled that, that that transition up to Albany has resulted into this. And so we're so excited that you moved here. We're excited that you committed here. And we are committed to supporting you um, as you are to grow. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Sure. Okay. Uh, honestly, um, I've been uh, doing this bad kind of business from uh, almost 1991 until the pandemic, you know. And along all that, during that period, uh, honestly, the, the thing that I accept for myself, I do serve to the customer, even though they don't see what behind the line, what's the what, and uh, whatever I accept for myself. I give to the customer development. So along this line, uh, uh, people felt that one. And I felt like uh, they return because they see like what you mentioned is that, I don't, you know, uh, there's something behind what's visible. And honestly, I'm happy to, I feel happy to serve something that's nutrition to the customer. To, I mean, this uh, new mind, my new home, that's uh, I'm part of, and the people here like really were welcoming, and I'm very excited to operate. And, and also, you forget to mention, I need a parking space. Yeah. I mean, no, no parking space. Here, I a new parking space. At ah, least. somebody was on about parking. You are my new favorite citizen. <laughs> so uh, I'm really happy to operate, and I'm really happy with people are welcoming me. And, um, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. So we are. Uh, so we're going to do the official ribbon cutting.
I'm not going to cut the white. Right, so we're going to pose. We're going to pose. We're going to look up and smile. Don't cut before we cut. Okay. Okay. So we're